hi everyone welcome back to my channel Haja cooks and today we will be making hat so if you are ready I'm just wait to start properly I'm gonna start let me back in ice okay all the ingredients yes so here I've got my putty that I'm heating up now liquor cheese <laughs> the heat is on high medium to high Okay, you can you see? Yeah. So here yeah, I've got some coconut, and you can use any kind of coconut that you like. It can be the fine one, the medium, doesn't matter. I'm gonna throw in a cup. I'm not gonna make that much because otherwise I have too much left. And squirt your water. A half a cup and stick cinnamon. I like to throw in a lot so that the flavor can be liquor intense, and so two to three cardamom pods, and then my sugar. I'm gonna take a tablespoon and just show you what I do. I don't like the coconut filling that sweet because we will be most adding the jam as well next to it. Yeah. So that's two, three. Let's keep it like that. I will place the just just get some more water in case I need. And this is how we made it. <laughs> and my mommy was kicks with the oh as they say, we just Monitor with our eye if it's enough water. Okay. Look at the scorchy water. So a tablespoon or two. I'm going to take just a little bit and taste if it's the sweetness that I like. Yes, that's good. That's good. Clean okay, spoon here. I'm just letting it go so until most of the water is has evaporated. Okay. While that is going, I'm going to add just a tea. Okay, so this has been going for a minute. And all the water has evaporated and I'm going to switch off my stove and I'm going to let this cool down while I start with my dough. <laughs> okay, so now while my coconut mixture is cooling off and that must be cold now guys, it's imperative that that is cold. It's not good to put like warm coconut onto cold dough. So yeah, I've got 250 grams of butter. I'm going to put in my bucky here. Everything. There you go. And one cup of sugar. Measured it out here in my measuring thingy. Okay. Now I'm going to just mix this through. And this doesn't need to be like if you make a cake you know? and then you need to mix this for, for a few minutes but with a biscuit that's not necessary you know? for me I feel it's not needed it's a ho ho and for mix my one egg Mix that through. Okay. So I'm going to use my vanilla essence. I'm going to throw a cap full in, like a tablespoon there. Yeah? Get that flavor incorporated. Okay. 
and I'm gonna put my mixer, this mixing layer mixer one side. And I'm gonna use my flour now. And now I'm gonna just feel my dough as I go through mixing this thing. So this is one cup. My spatula here. I mix it through. I'm gonna feel with my hand, eh? Oh, I wanted you know, I forgot the baking powder. Anyway, here's a teaspoon of baking powder. It always happens to me. And don't worry. <laughs> this is the last stage where it can still be thrown in. Okay. Now I'm going to Okay, let me feel this. Let's see what needs another. So I'll offer cup. And then I'll be using my hands from here on. Let's see. Do you know how to copy? Yeah. Nice and soft, but not dry. Right? That's crucial. So I've used about two and a half cups now. I'm just gonna feel my way through here still. Oops. I don't want to over mix this stony so a little sprinkle cheese so feels a bit wet okay now I like we it's heated yes perfect I'm just gonna cover this some lunch wrap and let, let it just rest for so 10 minutes while your coconut is also cooling off and we'll be right back okay so everything has cooled off and this settled down a bit and i'm going to switch on my oven to 180 degrees ne? Oh, the dough. Okay, can I just throw some flour on my surface here? Let me see. I'll just take half of my dough. So I don't have a big surface of. You see, it feels. It's not wet there, but it's also not too dry. See, I've got another rolling pin. Fatima gave me this. <laughs> Push this on the side there. Okay. And I'm going to roll it out not too thin and not too thick like just so you will see just a little bit thicker than a coin okay put 
my head so he trickachi and that you can do like that and I'll put it in the in my plachi just now <laughs> So my one tray is now done and I'm just going to do the other one. And if you like a more thicker base, make it thicker, entirely up to you, ne? entirely up to you. This is so satisfying. Oh yes, and I wanted to say earlier I said then we'll be right back you're gonna be back here some as I need echo it's then only me and we'll be right back I think I miss cooking with Fatima and when we did our TV show Carp Kirin Ku Sisters Sismos in owns and we will see you yeah but soon she will be much better inshallah shukran everyone for your for your du'as and praise hi no ticket no for i hear the nothing like playing with dough <laughs> as the liquor I'm just gonna cut out the one last one. This dough I'll keep for for Layla, then they can decide what they want to do with it. I see, I see, see all. Okay, now I'm gonna fill it up. Okay, I'll put my biscuit base here. In my plachi <laughs> you can um butter flour your your plachis here with the baking trays but I've used quite enough um, flour so I'm not gonna need that so see the bottom is nice and flowery and then I just continue until I have all my plach is full my baking trays and then I'll fill it up with a filling I don't know what happened now I came to this to the phone and it was dark equity anyway <laughs> so I fold it up with my jam and coconut I'm just gonna finish off here so all the little tree Come on, this is going to be devoured by my family. I don't know what happens here. My bake put it in a, on a platter and I said, we are going to go in the oven now. I'm going to finish that. But when I'm done, it's going to go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes and to lick it golden and when you take it out, then I want to show you how mine comes out. Me, guys, the biscuits is out of the oven. Our oh, hat stuff is. Oh, it looks so liquor, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And um. Thank you again, Shukran, so much for all your love. And I'll see you next time. Bye.